So what can you expect after your Lipogems procedure? Just to first, uh, before I go into what to expect, I just want to just quickly chat about um, what the Lipogems is about or how it's, it's done, the process, and then what to expect. So when you come to the uh, surgery center, you'll, you'll talk to the anesthesiologist, the nurse, they'll check you in, they'll give you an IV, and uh, we'll, uh, I'll come in, I'll confirm which leg or shoulder or joint I'll be injecting with this uh, Lipogems um, uh, injection. And uh, then we will go into the operating room and the anesthesiologist will give you some sedation so that you're, you're nice and relaxed and you're comfortable. And, uh, and then I will numb up the areas uh, either in your belly or your back where I will harvest the fat. Uh, the fat harvest is very similar to a liposuction. Most people understand what a liposuction is. It's more like a mini liposuction, which means there's, there's real, there really aren't any incisions or tiny little nicks. Uh, the cannulas I use are very fine, uh, very different from a liposuction cannula, which is large bore, and I will harvest the fat. It's, it's relatively painless. It's a little uncomfortable. That's why, that's why the anesthesiologist will give you some IV sedation to relax you a little bit. So I, I do the fat harvest, remove the fat, and then take it through, um, process it through the Libogems system. It's a very specialized system. Uh, quite an ingenious system that is able to separate uh, components of the fat harvest that are not really necessary, uh, uh, such as um, uh, there's uh, oils that can cause uh, an inflammatory reaction, there's connective tissue, fibrous connective tissue that you really don't need injected, and what's, what's left over are these tiny microscopic clusters of fat cells that have embedded within them uh, these cells called pericytes, which are known to be the precursors of mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs. So when you inject these into the joint, which is what I will do once, I get, once we process it, uh, I take the syringes with the lipoaspirate, or the lipogems, and I will inject it into your joint. If it's your knee joint, I will use an ultrasound to make sure that I hit the target. I inject it into multiple places. If it's your shoulder, I'll use a fluoroscopy, which I think is more accurate than ultrasound, so that I can make sure that I hit it right into the target, the ball and socket joint, if that's what we're after, the AC joint, whichever body part it is. Uh, uh, the, um, uh, uh, when, we're, when I'm done with the procedure, you'll, well, I'll put band-aids in those areas and just uh, a uh, gauze over the belly area. So what do you expect? Th what do you expect after the procedure? Immediately after the procedure, you'll probably feel pretty good. Uh, the areas were numbed. So it won't be too painful. Now, I have to tell you that I personally had this procedure done on myself, so I know what you go through. I, I know exactly what you're gonna go through because I went through it. And this is what I went through, so, and this will help you understand what you will go through. Your belly will be tender. That means that if you touch it and, pat it and tap it, it's going to be tender. If you, um, if you go for a, a run or you jump, it's going to be tender and that will be last probably for about a week. It's a tender belly. So you, you certainly don't want to be playing dodgeball or, uh, or, or, uh, or be a goalkeeper where somebody is, uh, is hitting you with a ball. It's gonna hurt. Uh, and even jogging kind of bothers you for about a week. Your belly does. Your joint area where the injection site was done will be tender, and it's usually for about three days. The first two days, you will have a little difficulty walking. So when, you, when you're sitting for a long period of time and you get up, you're gonna say, ouch, my knee kinda hurts and it's kinda stiff. You're gonna be a little worried and that it's normal. Within, within 72 hours, that initial swelling goes down. The feeling of fullness goes down. Your knee will feel kinda full, uh, which causes it to be stiff and it will go down. So what I tell patients is um, you know, be aware of these uh, issues. Uh, don't worry, it's very normal. You can ice uh, your knee as well as your harvest site. Uh, you can take Tylenol extra strength every six hours, and that usually helps. And you can move the joint. So if it's the shoulder, you kind of move it back and forth. If it's the knee, you move it back and forth, and that will help with post-stiffness pain. But usually after about three days, uh, you know, you'll, you'll move forward. Those, bot those areas don't, won't hurt so much. Your belly will still be a teeny bit tender. Um, patients will sometimes ask me, hey, am I going to have a flatter tummy? Will my six-pack show more? 
Um, I certainly wish that it would, but it usually doesn't. Uh, it actually doesn't. It's a, it's a very small amount of fat that's actually taken. And then um, normally after about uh, a week or two, it's business as usual, uh, meaning uh, your activity uh, is uh, the way uh, that it was in terms of uh, your workouts or going to work. And then uh, in terms of the positive effect uh, of the lipogems, in my experience, I, exp I experienced improvement of my pain and function within two weeks. Uh, the, um, uh, the inventor of the system who uh, taught me how to do this procedure, in his experience of hundreds of patients, hundreds and hundreds of patients, in his experience, the average is about six weeks. In terms of how long it lasts, well, we haven't been doing it very long in the United States. It's only been approved for a couple of years now, if that. Uh, so we don't have long-term experience here. In Europe, the, ex the, the experience, especially from um, uh, uh, the creator of the system, who has a, the largest database, is anywhere from one to three years or longer of, of a solid uh, improvement in, uh, in symptoms. So that's what you should expect. Uh, the uh, you know, initial recovery is a little uh, uh, um, uncomfortable. Uh, but then once, you, once that initial swelling and pain goes away, uh, you coast after that, and, after, and then you, you start to experience improvement very fast. So that's it. That's, the, that's what to expect with the lipogems procedure. I hope that information helped. Please let me know if I can help you in any way. Good luck with the procedure. I'll be here for you. Take care.